Jeremiah, part one. <clears throat> the words of Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah, one of the priests who were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. He came also in the days of Jehu, Achim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, and until the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, until the captivity of Jerusalem in the fifth month. The call of Jeremiah. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. The word of the Lord came to me a second time, saying, What do you see? And I said, I see a boiling pot facing away from the north. Then the Lord said to me, Out of the north, disaster shall be let loose upon all the inhabitants of the land. For behold, I am calling all the tribes of the kingdoms of the north, declares the Lord, and they shall come. Israel forsakes the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and proclaim in the hearing of Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord, Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, all the clans of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord. Faith, faithless is Israel called to repentance. The Lord said to me in the days of King Josiah, Have you seen what she did? That faithful, faithless one Israel, how she went up on every high hill and under every green tree, and there played the whore. I thought... And I thought, after she has done all this, she will return to me. But she did not return, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. She saw that for all the adulteries of the faithless one Israel, I had sent her away with a decree of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah did not fear, but she too went and played the whore, because she took the whoredom lightly. She polluted the land, committed adultery with stone and tree, yet for all this her treacherous sister Judah did not return to me with all her whole heart. But in pretense, declares the Lord, Surely as a, treach as a treacherous wife leaves her husband, so you have been treacherous to me, O house of Israel. Declares the Lord, For thus says the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fellow ground, and so not among thorns. Circumcise yourself to the Lord. Remove your, the foreskin of your hearts, O men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, let my wrath go forth like fire and burn with none to quench it because of the evil of your deeds. Disaster from the north. <clears throat> a lion has gone up from his thicket, a destroyer of nations. He has set out. He has gone out from the place to make your land a waste. Your cities will be ruins without inhabitants. In that day, declares the Lord, courage shall fail both king and officials. The priests shall be appalled and the prophets astounded. Anguish over Judah's desolation. For thus says the Lord, the whole land shall be a desolation. Yet I will not make a full end. Jerusalem refused to repent. Then I said, there the, these are only the poor. They have no sense, for they do, do not know the way of the Lord, the justice of their God. I will go to the great and speak to them, for they know the way of the Lord, the justice of their God. But they all alike have broken the yoke, they had burst the bonds. Therefore a lion from the forest shall strike them down, a wolf from the desert shall devastate them. The Lord proclaims judgment. Behold, I am bringing against you a nation from afar, a house of of Israel declares the Lord but even in those days declares the Lord I will not make a full end of you and when your people say why has the Lord our God done all these things to us you shall say to them as you have forsaken me and served foreign gods in your land so you shall serve foreign in a land that is not yours impending disaster for Jerusalem flee for safety you people of Benjamin from the midst of the Jerusalem blow the trumpet in Tekoa and raise the Signal on Beth Hekram for disaster looms out of the north and destruction. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears are uncircumcised. They cannot listen. Behold, the word of the Lord is to them an object of scorn. They take no pleasure in it. Thus says the Lord, 
Behold, the people is coming from the north country. A great nation is straying from the farthest parts of the earth. Evil in the land. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Amend your ways and your deeds, and I will let you dwell in this place. Will you still murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, make offerings to Paul, and go after other gods that you have not known? And then they come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered, only to go doing all these abominations. Go now to my place that was in Shiloh, where I made my name dwell at first, and see what I did to it because of all the evil of my people Israel. Therefore I will do to the house that is called by my name, and which you trust, and to the place that I gave to you and to your fathers, as I did in Shiloh. The Belly of Slaughter and they have built the high places of Topeth, which is in the valley of the son of Haman, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I did not command, nor did it come into my mind. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when it will be no more be called Topeth, or the valley of the son of Haman, but the valley of slaughter. For they will, bear, for they will bury in Topeth, because there is no room elsewhere. Death shall be preferred to life by all the remnant that remains of this evil family in all the places where I have driven them, declares the Lord of hosts. Sin and treachery. Let's get that one. Jeremiah grieves for his people. Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom, let not the mighty man boast in his might, let not the rich man boast in his riches, but let he who boasts boast in this, that he understands and knows me that I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, declares the Lord. Idols and the living God. Hear the word of the Lord speaks to you, O host of Israel. Thus says the Lord, the customs of the people are vanity. A tree from the forest is cut down and worked with an axe by the hands of a craftsman. They decorate it with gold and silver, silver and gold. They fasten it with hammer and nails so that it cannot move. Their idols are like scarecrows in a cucumber field that cannot speak. They have to be carried, for they cannot walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither is it in them to do good. A voice, a rumor, behold, it comes a great commotion out of the north country to make his cities of Judah a desolation, a lair of jackals. <clears throat> the broken covenant. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am bringing disaster upon them that they cannot escape. Through, though they cry to me, I will not listen to them. The Lord of hosts who planted you has decreed disaster against you because of the evil that, that the house of Israel and the house of Judah have done, provoking me to anger by making offerings to Baal. Jeremiah's complaint, Righteous are you, O Lord, when I complain to you, yet I would plead my case before you. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? Why do all who are treacherous thrive? The Lord answers Jeremiah, They shall be ashamed of their harvest because of their fierce anger of the Lord. The ruined loincloth. Thus says the Lord to me, Go and buy a linen loincloth and put it around your waist, and do not dip it in water. And the word of the Lord came to me a second time, Go to the Euphrates and hide it. And after many days, the Lord said to me, Arise and go to the Euphrates and take the loincloth, take from there the loincloth. And behold, the loincloth was spoiled. It was good. It was good for nothing. Thus says the Lord, Even so, I will spoil the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. For as the loincloth clings to the waist of a man, so I made the whole house of Israel and the whole, whole house of of Judah cling to me, declares the Lord, that they might be, that they might be for me, be for me a people, a name, a praise, and a glory, but they would not listen. The jar is filled with wine, thus says the Lord, behold, I will fill with drunkenness all the inhabitants of the land. Exile threatened. Lift up your eyes and see those who come from the north. Where is the flock that was given you, you beautiful flock? I have seen your abominations, your adulteries, your nangs, your lewd whorings on the hills of the field. Woe to you, O Jerusalem, how long will it be before you are made clean? Famine, sword, and pestilence. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah concerning the drought. The Lord said to me, Do not pray for the welfare of this people. Though they fast, I will not hear their cry, and though they offer burnt offering, great offering, 
I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence.